archaeology, and let me tell everyone the epic story of the battle between the Greeks and the people of Troy. I'll be better than that. I'll help you tell the story myself. It's a deal. Where shall we start? Let's start near the end. After 10 bloody years of fighting, the Greeks still hadn't captured the, the faraway city of Troy. Then the fighting story to win back Helen, said to be the world's most beautiful woman, who had been taken away from her Greek husband by a Trojan prince. The Greeks have lost some of their best fighters in battle, including a great warrior named Achilles. After 10 years, they still hadn't gone much further than where they first landed on the beach. They were tired, homesick, and ready to give up. That's right, only Commander Odysseus, the most clever of the Greeks, wasn't willing to quit. He just kept planning and plotting. Scene 1 in the Greek camp. There must be something we have to try. We've attacked an attack, we never made it. What we need is for someone on the inside to open the gates and let us in. Ha! Imagine that. Walking right into Troy? Now that would be something. That's it. We'll get inside and open the gates. Are you crazy? Haven't we been trying to do that for ten years? Nothing is worth, remember? Let's go home while we still can. But what if somehow we got a handful of soldiers into the city? Say they were in a, a box. They could sneak out at night and open the gates and conquer the city in ten minutes. Yeah, right. And if I were Athena, I'd fly. How are you going to get a box full of soldiers past the Trojan guards? Mm. Ah, I've got an idea. We'll build a wooden horse as big as a great statue. We keep it hollow so that 20 soldiers can fit inside. The Trojans won't know that it's hollow, so we'll never look inside. And I suppose you just happen to have one of these giant horses? <coughs> oh no, but uh, Epio's our carpenter can make one. If he can make these big ships, he can certainly make this horse. I think it can inspire him if he needs help. Okay, then what? You leave this gigantic horse right here on the beach. They think it's an offering made to the gods. That will make them open up their gates and pull it right inside. A little trick will do it. Ten years of fighting never could. But where will our armies be? We'll pack up our ships and leave. Only we won't really leave. We'll just sail out of sight and wait until the horse gets taken inside Troy. Then, our soldiers will unlock the gates, give us a signal, and we'll march right in. Okay, but the Trojans are dumb. After ten years of fighting, I thought they wanted to be mighty suspicious. Well... That's where you come in. Me? Scene two. Inside Troy. Weeks later, the Trojans awoke to a very strange sound. The Trojan lookouts climbed to their posts on top of a walled city to see what was happening in the Greek camp. They were shocked. The Greek soldiers had disappeared. <laughs> the ground was covered with empty tents, broken weapons, and other gear that the Greeks had left behind. All the scars stood in huge holes. The horde was moving, and all of the tall of the gates of Troy. They stood proudly and silently, as if it wanted to challenge the Trojans one more time. When the Trojan people heard that the Greeks had gone, they started celebrating. The war is over! We won! After all these years! Three cheers for the boys in bronze! But the Troy's king, Priam, and his royal fortune teller, Blackwan, told the people not to celebrate too soon. Let's make sure this isn't just a trick. Black one, you and I are party of warriors will go down there and see if the Greeks are really gone. The Trojans walked down to the shore where the Greeks had made their camp. Everywhere the Trojans found memories of the fierce battles that had been fought and the heroes that had taken the arms. Look, that's the tent Odysseus stayed in. And over there, that was Achilles' camp. But what everyone wanted to see was the giant wooden horse. What could it be? Why would the Greeks build it only to leave it behind? Whatever it is, I don't like it. I don't trust, I've never trusted the Greeks, and I'm not going to start now. Let's burn this thing to the ground right now. It'll make a great bonfire. Following the fortune teller's orders, soldiers collected wood and piled it under the horse. While the one was just about to throw a torch on the pile and start to blaze, when a group of Trojan soldiers appeared. Wait! He just rushed to the prisoners. They brought out Simon, a distance his comrade. His hands were bound in front of him, and he was dressed in rags. Who are you? Where are the rest of your army? Tell us who you give the points of our swords. There's no need to threaten me. I'll gladly tell you everything you want to know about my rotten countrymen. I hope we get this right or Odysseus will kill me. <laughs> are you a traitor? <laughs> no, I'm a survivor. Thank goodness you found me. The Greek fortune tellers told us that they would never win the war because Athena, the goddess of wisdom, was mad at them. They said the best thing to do was to make human sacrifice and then go home. They chose me to be the sacrifice, but I escaped. A likely story. But what about this horse? It was meant to be a gift for Athena, too. Why did they make it so big? So that you couldn't drag it into your city and get the credit and good luck from Athena. Ha! We'll show them. We'll drag this horse right into the center of our city, next to Athena's temple. No, Your Highness, don't do it. 
Something smells bad here. I don't trust the Greeks, even when they bring gifts. Let's destroy the horse and kill the prisoner. Just then, a strange and horrible thing happened. Two huge snakes reared out of the ocean surf and raced towards the people men standing on the beach. Before well, Lapa Wong could say another word, the serpents wrapped themselves around him. As the other serpents looked down in horror, the serpents squeezed her again. This was the dog for the king's temple in the city. See, Athena must have sent those snakes to the sun. Let's hear no more doubts. Bring this horse to the city. But Priya was wrong. Athena had sent those serpents to the side of the sea god, who loved the Greeks, and sent the snakes to help the result of his evil plot. Scene 3 Inside Troy. With great effort, the Trojans dragged the horse into the city. Brian declared a citywide celebration. He opened their special storehouses that were closed during the war. All children, young and old, ate and drank their fill for the first time in years. Inside the horse, Odysseus and the other great soldiers heard the Trojans singing and dancing and waited for their chance. Thank you. 
Priestess of Poseidon, Julia Rule. Brian, King of Troy, Gay Bonilla. Thank <laughs> you.